And now for section 14 of the London Loop, that's Moor Park to Hatch End, very short one this one. This may be a very short section of the loop, but it's a very pleasant one. Such a nice nice sunny day. Wow, that's tall grass and cow parsley. Really what a bit of rain does, isn't it? I don't know why, I'm always uh, a little self-conscious when I walk on public footpaths with golf courses. It's a bit like I'm trespassing. I know I'm not because it's a public footpath. Now across the golf course, I can relax. If I can I relax because I'm going through a load of nettles. I'm wearing shorts, it's not good. Now the guy says to um, take a moment to admire the view of the Colne Valley. So let's take a moment and admire the view then. So we'll start with the cows. And there's a view of the Colne Valley. Very nice. Tricky one to find this one. So if you're looking for a marker that's better mentioned than the uh, guide, it's opposite the reduced speed now sign. Obscure is definitely the word I would use for this path. Oh, and it's full of nettles as well. Oh, my legs. Ah, wide open spaces for the moment, and no nettles. Give my legs time to uh, recover. But then again, it's all numb, it doesn't really matter if I walk through a whole pile, pile of nettles. Ooh, more nettles. Don't have to be careful again. Oh, the catkins. It's almost tropical, doesn't it? I like uh, this bit of the loop, not a lot of people. And Oxy Roads is very uh, nice and tranquil. Bye bye Oxy Woods, here's the fields. Good view from here, that's Harrow, 
And a bit further round, uh, just a bit make Wembley Stadium out in the distance. When coming down this field, it says go through Wooden Gate. Wooden Gate has been replaced with Metal Gate. So, now where does the loop path go now? Somewhere here, the footpath is. This is going to be fun. Lots of nettles. Oh, that hurt. My legs now sting. My arm now stings. Oh, I wish people would uh, clear the paths. Oh, that was out. So now at the end of section 14, um, that just leaves the next section, section 15, which is my final section. And then when I've done that, I'll have completed the full circuit of the London Loop.